All right, hi everybody, happy Friday. It's a great day in Newport once again, and we're gonna do two cocktails tonight. They're fairly simple, but really both very good, so we wanna just kinda of move right through them. We're gonna do a Keeneland Breeze, and we're gonna do a Rusty Nail. So first we're gonna do the Keeneland Breeze drink, uh, and what we wanna do here is this is a bourbon drink and a little bit of orange flavor, and then topped off with ginger ale. So we're gonna do two ounces of my Battle Cry Rhode Island Bourbon. And I'm going to do a half an ounce of an orange liqueur. In this case, I'm using Grand Marnier. And that'll give it that orange flavor. Uh, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of fresh orange juice right in there. And I'm pouring, putting this over ice, and then I'm simply going to top it off with ginger ale. And then lastly, just garnish it with an orange. So we'll do that. There you go, that's a Keeneland Breeze, and that's a spectacular, very refreshing drink. Now, while that's refreshing, let's jump over to something that's a little more alcohol forward, and that would be the Rusty Nail. And here, this is a drink that combines scotch, and I picked a couple of basic scotches. This is the Dewar's White Label and the Johnny Walker Red Label Blended. But it combines it with this Scottish liqueur, which is... I'm not sure really how to describe this, but it's a Scottish liqueur called Drambuie. <laughs> so what this is, again, a very simple mixture. I'm gonna use the Dewar's Scotch. I mean, it's two parts Scotch to one part Drambuie, so I'm doing two ounces of Scotch and one ounce of Drambuie. If you drank Drambuie straight, it'd be a little sweet, it's a little pungent. I give it a little stir there. I'm putting that over a very nice ice cube, and then I'm gonna garnish that with a lemon. So I'm like, can you take a take a very close up look at that? And that really is a spectacular drink itself. So then just grab note of the uh, of the recipes. Note the watermelon. We have uh, coming up next weekend will be a watermelon drink. And again, happy Friday.